Today, all over our state, Texans are making tough choices, hard calls about money, about jobs, and about the future. Unfortunately, though, too many of our representatives in Washington are making the wrong choices. They fail to truly understand the challenges that are in front of our country and how a free enterprise economy needs to work to create jobs and opportunities for all our people. Today, our country is less competitive than it used to be. Government is overspending, overtaxing, and overregulating, and as a result, destroying real jobs. Now, I can tell you that Americans are eager to work, to start new businesses and grow our economy. But government's become an obstacle to the inherent strength of the American people and our free market system. And we're on a track to be far less competitive in the future, resulting in this generation, for the first time in history, passing to our children less opportunities and a lower quality of life. I can help make a difference. I'm a true Texas conservative who is ready to tackle our debt and reckless spending and build a strong, vibrant economy that leads the world. I approach the issues of life and marriage as matters of faith. And I believe the Constitution provides the guiding principles that must always be the cornerstone of our government's actions. As a private sector employer, I've signed both sides of a paycheck and created thousands of jobs by refocusing our company on what it did best. Government should be doing exactly the same. In the Senate, I'll ask myself the following question. It's almost a litmus test every time I consider a new idea or a new piece of legislation. Does this reduce the influence of Washington on our families and businesses? If the answer is yes, I'll consider it. If it's not, I won't. As mayor of Dallas, I understood that it was the private sector that created jobs and I employed business principles and common sense conservative judgment. We cut spending and bureaucracy. We privatized programs and made decisions that save the city millions of dollars. To combat crime, we increased the police force without raising taxes. We had to make some tough choices and we had to cut our civilian budget. But we achieved the goals that we set out. Crime rates dropped by double digits and violent crime, it plummeted 30%. And making these decisions wasn't easy. But I made the hard calls, the hard calls that others had kicked down the road. Same kind of hard calls that I see Texas families making every single day. I've been successful in business because I understand the value of a dollar. I worked my way through college. And I witnessed my mother, who raised me on her own, making tough choices as she balanced the checkbook every single month. I'll go to Washington with that same determination. I've done it before, it can be done, and most importantly, it must be done. Everyone in America, families, businesses, local governments, they've all had to make tough choices. Everyone, it seems, except Washington. It's time, though, for the future of our country, for Washington to start making some of those hard calls, too.